Howdy, internet cowboys and cowgirls. Welcome back to this rowdy rodeo of ridiculousness. It's been a while since we've wrangled a strangely named town and all of its charming businesses and features, so I think that's what we're going to do today. Today's town arguably has a lewd name. It can also be perfectly innocent, so we'll need to pay a visit to find out which one they think it is. So put on your hat, saddle up your pony, and let's take our merry posse and have a proper poke around Finger, Tennessee. Finger is a town. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the shape of it. Look at the shape. Oh, are we sure that this is a finger? It might be. I suppose there are other things that are also finger shaped. Right. Finger is a town in Chester and McNary counties. Ooh, double whammy and finger. According to tradition, the city received its name when the townspeople, during a heated discussion over what to name the city, noticed a man's passionate hand gestures. Other sources suggest the city was named for an early resident, Andrew Jackson Finger. The Finger Diner was the original model for the Hard Rock Cafe chain. Oh, so there's a claim to fame. Couple things, maybe they called it Finger because they just said fuck it. And on the other hand, this reminds me of back when we were exploring funny towns in Kentucky. There was a town called Pig, and they called it Pig because they had heated discussions over what to call it until somebody just saw a random pig and pointed to it. Unfortunately, neither of its two newspapers are named The Daily Finger. Though a sheriff in the 60s of McNary County was born there, and his name is Buford Pusser. So that's appropriate. Wow, there's our church. <laughs> the first thing we see is the Finger Church of Christ. That is the best. Please tell me there are more. Oh, there is. Finger Christian Fellowship. Oh, they've named things Finger. That brings me joy. Oh, and the Finger Church of Christ is at the corner of Finger, Leapwood Road, and Brown Street. Where Finger meets Brown, not sure it's a pleasant experience, but you will find a church there. Oh, look at this couple. In their flashy car in Finger. You did well in Finger, the two of you. They're really into weird little off-road vehicles. What is that? Let's get down in Finger. Alright, Finger Church of Christ. Any reviews? Yes, 4.5 stars. Excellent. Oh, it's tiny. Front for money laundering. Great experience. Five stars. How bold of you to use your first and last name, Rose. That is quite the surprise, Rose. They have a website. Finger Church of Christ. Or Church of Christ in Finger. And they put the... <laughs> they put the review about money laundering on the website. It must be automatically pulling from Google. Is it actually a front for money laundering? And they're just hiding in plain sight? Oh, that's it. What happens if you click on contact? Oh, it just scrolls down the page. Wow, that's that's a useful website. Top-notch development here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see their competitor. No, not First Baptist Church. You didn't name yourself properly. Finger Christian Fellowship. Oh, no reviews. So the Finger Church of Christ is operating uncontested. Any restaurants? Finger Cafe! Yes, excellent. Is that a cafe? That's not a cafe, man. Now that is a front for money laundering. Show nearby restaurants, yes. Oh, oh, all the way over there. All right, let's check out the volunteer fire department. Nope, absolutely nothing here either. Home banking company? Not called Finger, but let's see the reviews. Well, happy customers, all two of them. It is time to check out the corner of Brown and Finger. Oh, and it's the only street we can street view, so it better be good. You know, maybe it is a front for money laundering. I mean, everybody's got a snazzy car driving through here. The road is relatively well paved. The where's the... Oh, here it is. Finger Church of Christ. If God is your co-pilot, swap seats. In your snazzy little red vehicle, of course. I have so many questions for Rose Martin, who has accused them publicly of money laundering. When did she post that review? A week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. Well, as I said, let's poke around Finger. There's a motorcycle parked on this porch. Finger store. Why did they put store, like, over here? Was that a design choice? Why aren't they on the same line in the middle? Or at least aligned? This, this is a happening place to be. Downtown Finger, if you know what I mean. 
You know, most folks have pretty good cars, I have to say. Let us go towards the other finger church. That is an epic trampoline! Oh, and they've got a pool. And they've got a tractor thing. Oh, maybe it's a lawnmower. So finger Christian fellowship is... Apparently we're looking at it. It's one of these? Is it that back there? Or is it... is it one of these? Let's double check that that's all we can street view. Yep, that's it. Yeah, well this is the main event. There's the service centre. Looks like it could do with a bit of servicing. Office wrecker service. What does that mean? They destroy offices. Does anybody know what that means? Yeah, no, that's all it says on both sides. Office wrecker service. And they've got the best building. They must wreck a lot of offices. It's property time, people. Is there any real estate? Oh, there is. There is property. 30k? That's cheap as hell. And you're right in the middle of town. Perfect. Tell us more. Two beds, two baths, thousand square feet. That is horrible lighting. Do people actually use these lights in their home? Terrific. Makes you look like you're in a hospital. Again, this this fluorescent hospital lighting. Why? Well, for 30k, that's your problem. If you have this in your home, please tell me why. What else we got? 55k. Ooh, big money. Only 800 square feet though. Ah, yes. It comes with a tractor. Oh, the bedroom is straight onto the kitchen. What are these buildings? It comes with three different sheds. And then since then, some people have called me two sheds. What do people put in them? It's not like it looks like they've done much landscaping. And tractor, check. This does not belong. Oh, but it's got washer and dryer unit on the premises. As somebody who lives in a city cannot be underestimated. That's why this house is 24 more thousand dollars than the last one we looked at, guaranteed. Again, the fence is like from three different properties and they've just put it together. And a pre-foreclosure. And that's it. Right, let's check out pictures. There's the one that was on Wikipedia. Let's actually look at that one up close. Yeah, that is that is the main part of town. But the cars are all new. Did this still say office wrecker when they took this picture? I can't tell. Wonder if they've always been in the office wrecking business. Oh, hello. This was in Finger. Property overview. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this fantastic home for your wonderful family. Just so much to offer. So excited. I mean, that is a large tract of land. Definitely better than the other stuff we saw. Let's call it Finger. Hold on, what's this? A history of North McNary County and Finger, Tennessee. <gasps> There's a book you can buy? Let's call it Finger is the story of North McNary County, Tennessee, in and around the small West Tennessee town of Finger from its early settlement to World War II. The story shifts to the establishment of Finger in 1900 through the post-war era, including the area settlement, the war between the states and its effects, and the advancement of education, business, and commerce, transportation, and medicine. Strange, peculiar, and interesting events are also discussed. Mm-hmm as well as the people and happenings that left indelible marks on Finger and North McNary County. How terrific is that? The author was raised just outside of Finger. Coming from a long line of merchants and farmers, he spent much of his youth in the same store building in Finger as his father and grandfather. He explored the little town and got to know people who began life at the age of the automobile and the electric light born at home in farmhouses and log cabins. You know what? Good for him. People should document their towns and families. Very interesting book must have. That's Finger? Where was that in Finger? There is absolutely no way this is Finger. Fake news. What is this website? Plunk family. Under construction, Finger, Tennessee. Historical documents from Finger. Oh, there's the old Finger. Interesting that there are people who are fascinated particularly by their ancestors in this area. Old photos, yes. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Finger. Never mind. Welcome to the Plunk family history website. It is rather gratifying having a surname that is unusual and enriched with family history. Variation of name spelling. Plonk, plonk, plank, plank, blonk, blank, blank. And you live in Finger. That is pretty marvellous. Wow, this is extensive. They've done some really intense work. I'm impressed, Lonnie Plunk. You've done well. This is a very respectable amount of research to discover your family history. Craigslist time. Craigslist in Finger is alive and well. Wow, it's trucks and construction equipment and eggs. A lot of eggs. Duck eggs in particular. Ducklings. Finger is in the duck business. Did they put this toe chain in the shape of a chicken on purpose? Is it just me or is that shaped like a chicken? $2,000 for this rust bucket. Is that seriously worth $2,000? 
Okay, there's definitely money in this area. Secretly, I think everybody's rich. $600 for a quarter. Maybe Rose Martin was right. Maybe there's some money laundering going on. Sheds. Gotta have a good shed. At least three on each property. It's a shed, get it off. Ooh, look at that little old Chevy. Yeah, the cars are good, man. Boats. Okay, I'm convinced. Finger residents are secretly rich. Here's the rust bucket. Still has original motor and transmission, not running. Really? I wasn't sure. It looked possible. Complete car, only missing one wheel. Then it's not a complete car. Would make a great rat rod or yard art. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Great rat rod or yard art. Great rat rod or yard art. Never mind. $2,000 yard art. I mean, that car has been sitting there since 1936. Oh my. If you have $2,000 to blow on a luxury purchase, is this it for you? This on the other hand, very respectable. That is a nice little paint job on it. Ooh, and the interior is still good. Please tell me there's a missed connection. No, there isn't. What if we go a little further? Oh, there is. Let's find out about Caesar. You are hot. I would like to get into your pants. I can see a monster hiding in there. That was very upfront. So much more upfront than I expected it to be. One winner later. Searching for a clean, fit male partner. With a small tool. I am disappointed that there's no missed connection in finger using the town name the way it's clearly meant to be used. That is a missed opportunity, let alone a missed connection. Well, if you need a job, storage shed construction full time. I gotta know what these people are putting in their sheds. This is absolute shed country. Is it a status thing to have a good shed? I mean, that looks like a house. That doesn't look like a shed. There is one post in community that's actually in finger and it has a picture and it's called Lion Heads and Lion Lops and I don't know what that is. We're gonna find out together. Oh, it's a rabbit. Shockingly not a shed. They have many rabbits. Many, many of them. Well, let us bid farewell to Finger here on this innocent note. If you enjoyed this adventure in Finger, Tennessee, please drop a like, leave me a comment, preferably with a picture of your shed so we can compare. Don't forget to subscribe and pass it on to other shed enthusiasts and people potentially looking for money laundering schemes because Finger has it all. See you on Wednesday for another bizarre click hole and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.